Hey everybody, in today's quick video, I'm gonna show you what to do if your refrigerator is not producing ice. I have a Samsung refrigerator, but this will work for really any refrigerator, regardless of the manufacturer. So there's seven things I always check if I'm not getting ice out of my ice maker. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing I would do is look to make sure your ice is not turned off. A lot of new modern uh, refrigerators have child locks. All you have to do if you see a little lock icon there is usually just press and hold for about three seconds and the light will turn off and the ice maker will turn back on. All right, the next thing to check is the actual freezer itself. If the freezer is too warm, the ice maker will self-regulate and will not produce ice. So you wanna make sure your freezer, which is over here on the left, is set to zero degrees. That's the ideal temperature for your freezer. Next thing is to check your door switch. When you open up your refrigerator, they're normally located on the top here. There's a little tab here, so when you close the door, the refrigerator knows the door is closed. But if you have a faulty door switch and the refrigerator thinks the door is open, it will not produce ice. So you're gonna wanna check this, press and hold this down, and if the light doesn't turn off within 30 seconds or 45 seconds, it could be a faulty door switch, which are pretty cheap and easy to replace but definitely check that. Okay, now a lot of modern ice makers actually have an on off switch within the ice maker. So what you're gonna wanna do is usually remove your ice tray completely. Okay, now my power button for my ice maker is located, there's a little thing that says power switch right here on the side. You can't really see it on the video, but there is a little button here on the side that you wanna press and hold make sure your ice maker is on. Now, depending on the model you have, sometimes you have ice makers on the inside of the door, but look around for the power button or you know, look at your owner's manual to find out where your power button is located. Okay, next thing is to look at your water inlet tube. Mine is located right there where I put the arrow. This is where water comes into the ice tray, freezes and allows it to produce ice. Now, depending on the model you have, a lot of them are in the back there, but because water goes in there and it's in freezing temperatures, sometimes the ice will just freeze in there and prevent water from you know, accumulating in the ice tray and producing more ice. So what I do is take a, a hair dryer and you know, stick it in the back there for a few minutes, thaw out that ice, especially if you can see ice formed in the, uh, in the exit area for the water inlet. Another thing to check is to make sure your ice tray is actually fully inserted as it should. Sometimes if it's just a quarter inch sticking out, it will not produce any ice. All right, so on this particular model, what normally prevents my tray from going all the way in and producing ice, ice will sometimes fall in the back there. I don't know if you can see that there. Let me try to get in focus. But just having a little ice cube back there will prevent it from going in and producing ice. So usually if my ice tray is not producing ice, that's one of the first things I check. I pull out the ice tray, see if any ice is back there blocking it from being inserted fully. All right, next thing to check is a clogged water filter. Mine is located right here. You just turn counterclockwise and pull it out. You wanna replace these about every three to six months depending on your water usage. Yours, depending on the model, might be located on the side, but mine's located right here on the bottom. Now, a clogged water filter can prevent water from getting into the ice tray and producing ice, so definitely check that. All right, so the last thing I would check if all those other remedies didn't get your ice maker back working again, Pull out your refrigerator and look at the back and look at the water line that goes into your refrigerator. If that water line is damaged or kinked in any way, you're gonna want to replace that so water will flow back in your refrigerator and you can have a happy refrigerator. Well everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's quick video on how to get your ice maker working on your refrigerator. This again works for Samsung, LG, lots of different refrigerators, but you should you know, look at your owner's manual to know where your water filter is or where your on off button for your ice maker is or how to adjust the temperature of your freezer because all refrigerators are a little different, but they all follow pretty much the same, have the same issues and the same remedies. So I hope you found this video informative. If you did, please give it a like and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.